Yo, Stevie, where can I video police officers? That's a great question. Can I, I film police? I, I don't know. I think there's only one way to find out. Police demanding people to stop recording them. The citizens who do it say it's their right. Police took my camera. All she did was record and arrest with her phone. What crosses the line? Hey, I'm Ricardo Gamboa. And I'm Stephen Baudouin. And we're activists and artists. We want to see what the civil servants do when we try to use our civil rights in civil space. We're uh, here at Foreman High School in the Belmont Cragen area of Chicago. Um, I used to teach class here. <laughs> Great. I don't mind me, so. Yeah, this school here is banned. I, not, not like it used to be. How would it used to be? It used to be pretty bad. You have you know, a lot of gang conflicts going back and forth. Yeah. Are all CPS schools patrolled? The high schools. The high schools are? So again, right now, what are some of the things that you that you look for? Right now, we're just trying to make them go home without any conflict. What do you think are the triggers that make a police officer agitated when they're being recorded? When you get right on top of us when we're uh. trying to do something. And uh. we're trying to break up the fight to get right there. Yeah. It seemed to fan the fire. But you're more than welcome to Thank you. take on your life. I wanted him to beat me, um, but it turns out he was not a bad guy. He totally said it was all right to uh, film him. And I also think it's interesting on the way he called out the filming. Um, and so whether that is a diffused tactic or a genuine uh, invitation, or still asserting his power, right? I will let you film me, um, are all different ways to read it. You can record a police officer speaking out loud in public while doing his job so long as you don't interfere with him. What constitutes interfering? A good rule of thumb is maintain some physical distance. The analysis turns on whether or not somebody has a reasonable expectation of privacy. For instance, if a police officer is um, at a sidewalk cafe whispering in the ear of his wife, whether or not he's on duty, you don't have a right to use a directional microphone to pick up what he's saying. But there's no question that a police officer speaking out loud in public while doing his job has no reasonable expectation of privacy. Most lawsuits challenging the right to record police have fallen on the side of the right to film. But there is a gap between what the law allows and what happens on the ground. Citizens attempting to record law enforcement have been arrested for trespassing, impeding an arrest, obstruction, resisting arrest. So when we were at Riot Fest, we began kind of uh, recording the police officers as they were approaching and what appeared to be making an arrest. Um, young, white, male, who was drinking and smoking like a sinner. And uh, once I approached, uh, the, one of the officers looked back and he asked me why I was filming him. Can I help you, man? Just recording our project. Don't point it at me. Keep Sorry. And he said I wasn't going to win the lottery, and which then I backed off and I created a little more distance. You know, that's a circumstance where right. you had a right to do what you were doing, but you know, the police officer didn't want you to do it. Right. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh. We're just documentarians, man. You know, your experience demonstrates police officers do not like being recorded, so they will take measures to prevent it. Uh, understand that the way they analyze these things, when they're doing something on the street, they're 
either using or preparing to use force understand that the way they're trained is that force begins with physical presence. So the fact that you're physically present is a use of force by their calculation. We were actually on our way back and about to call it a, a wrap for the day um, in the shoot. And then as we were walking back, the police officers had set up kind of like some uh, checkpoints and some barricades where they were directing traffic off 26th Street. He's buying the camera. What's a clever trick? <laughs> it keeps you from recording. But what options do citizens have in either the encounter or just, you know, at large? Frequently, people who play lawyer on the street get hurt for it. Mm -hmm. If you start speaking in legalese to police officers, they see a potential complaint. And to them, the best defense is a good offense. He asked you to back up, didn't he? I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to, I have a legal right to do this. Could you back up, please, sir? What you're doing right now is interfering. As a practical matter, it's, it's getting away with something like that mm -hmm. on the street is less about your legal rights and more about guile and charm. Because mm -hmm. they are more about power than rights. There has been a dramatic change, right. um, but that's not because of the law, that's because of technology. Mass access to the means of production and distribution of information has made surveillance a two-way street. Our ability to look back in an organized way and Everybody having a video recorder in their pocket, it has had a really meaningful impact on how people analyze police behavior. Can you do me a favor? Yes, sir. Can you go back out on the street? Oh, sure. Sure. Thank you. May I ask what that device is for back there? Can you go back out on the street, please? All right. Thank you. Yeah. Listen, don't get that close. We don't like people getting that close. You can film, just don't get that close. I'm just right. getting your badge numbers. Yes, guys. yes, you got it, you got it. But if you get that close, you're interfering, then we have to arrest you. Yeah. We don't want to arrest you. I'm Andy Therum, a uh, co founder of the Gay Liberation Network, which is a direct action LGBT multi issue organization. And we've been involved in a lot of not just gay rights protests, but also anti war protests, and it's particularly the latter that we've encountered problems with the police. We've been videotaping police officers ever since pretty much the advent of cell phone videos. And uh, it's been a touch and go situation here in Illinois because at one point it was illegal under the Illinois eavesdropping law to uh, videotape police officers performing their functions. Until December 30th, 2014, Illinois had one of the most restrictive eavesdropping laws in the country. The law made any audio recording of conversations, including the recording of police arrests, illegal, unless everyone on tape had given their permission. The law now generally prohibits recording of private conversations without everyone's consent. I can assert myself with one of you guys, and it's just my word against yours. But if I'm there with cell phone and with others, fortunately, with cell phones, we've got more power. It's, it's always useful to have not only people who are right up front videotaping, but in case they get picked off and their cell phones get picked off, have some people in the background hmm. videotaping, perhaps you know, a little bit surreptitiously. It's your right. 
So uh, today we are going to go to the Millennium Park Bean on the eve of uh, Mexican Independence Day. This is a space that is designated as a, as a space for play and a space for safety, but we know that that safety usually comes at the expense of hyper-policing. No one can hear you. The private security had no problem being recorded. They were, however, pretty cool with making sure that I got escorted out of the park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are the things to know when you're recording in public and private space? And where and when can you record in public and private space? It's really not a restriction on filming or recording. You're really talking about the law of trespassing. Generally speaking, private property is subject to the control of the owner of the property. And if somebody with authority over private property does not want you recording on their property, they can order you to stop. And if you don't stop, they can order you to leave. And if you don't leave, you will be arrested for trespassing. It plays out somewhat differently on public property. If you're on a public sidewalk, unless there is some special public safety reason to exclude you from that sidewalk, you have a right to stand there and record. We are at a police command station. It was also uh, a new story that broke that it was um, a black site in which they were holding people indefinitely without due process. And so to commemorate that ghosting, um, or to remember that ghosting, we ourselves are suited up as skeletons. <laughs> Running in place? Standing still. Said. Guys, can't do that here. Oh, sorry. Right. Sorry, man. No Is it the sidewalk cool? You can do it on by the bank. Okay, thank you. I mean, I think for me, what was what was interesting is that, and it's completely different than if you're like at a protest um, and police, you're confronted by police. I must feel this is more uh, scary than that. Yes. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Almost because of like the, the numbers or someone to bear witness. You can record police officers when they're speaking out loud in public. In case your phone gets confiscated, download an app that automatically uploads your videos. The more people filming, the less likely you are to get stopped or arrested. 